Welcome to Riven and Roll. I'm Amanda. I'm Aaron. This is Carmen. And welcome to Mississippi. So dinner tonight is couscous with all sorts of vegetables. We just roasted them, put them on top. We even took some of the Brussels sprouts that we got back in Alabama, put them on here, roasted it all up, and we hope it's good. We're just weeding out some rain right now. There's thunderstorms coming in and out of the area. It's actually going to benefit us in the end because it's been like 95 and with these storms it's like 70. So we'll weed out a little rain for an hour or so in order to have like a 70 degree day of hiking. Well, we've mentioned this book before. It's a National Geographic Guide to State Parks. But we're here, they have a ton of trails. The park itself and the county is named after, and I'm gonna cheat here, a Chickasaw chief named Tishomingo. And these were the paleo natives that were in this area um, and had really used a lot of the natural resources to develop tools and things like that. So the park is really a tribute to this chief. which way to go one of them just has the red and the other one has the red and yellow but on the map it's numbers not colors so we're just gonna take the one that's closest to the river <laughs> this is what we absolutely love about just going off the beaten path sometimes and not doing the top recommended thing of every single place that you go because right now we have this entire place to ourselves we found this beautiful little ravine with a creek running through it. Super peaceful, and we're having a blast. straddles the Natchez Trace Parkway which is 500 miles from Nashville to Natchez and it started off as a bison trail and then the Spanish and the French and all sorts of other people started using it to the point where even some what this book describes as the cutthroats and vagabonds found easy prey along the lonely stretches to the point where it was darkened with trees and all sort of thing all sorts of things so it got referred to as the devil's backbone <laughs> So just under two miles, took us a little over an hour, and we are back at the car. That was the outcroppings trail, first one that we did here at the state park. So we want to take a minute and say thank you to our sponsor of this video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Over the last few months, we've been using their six inch memory foam Wanderlust mattresses. We have two of them that we've placed here in our base camp 16. We have them next to each other, but they can easily stack so they continue to use our table right here in the RV and they're not in the way. And then when we're ready for bed, we can put them next to each other and have a nice comfortable bed. We've used these mattresses on our last couple trips and we love getting up early in the morning and going and beating the crowds, getting on the most morning hikes, but we've had a little bit of trouble because we've been so comfortable in the morning on these mattresses. Morning, so we got a little bit of a, not late start. It's some vacation start. I mean, it's just like home when we have our regular mattress. We don't feel like we're in an RV, that we're roughing it at all. It really feels like a cozy bed. And then when we get up in the morning, we realize and remember that we're indeed in the middle of nature. And remember that RV mattress has a 120 night sleep trial, so you can test it out to your heart's desire. They also have a 10 year warranty and they're made right in Arizona and then shipped to your door for free across the U.S. Get it. There you go. Perfect. Ooh. Ah, good 
night air. So make sure and visit rvmattress.com slash rivet and roll to check out all of the mattresses that they have. Pick the one that's right for you in your size RV and then use the code rivet and roll at checkout for 20% off. This cabin back here is based on a cabin from the 1800s. It was actually built in the 1970s when local families decided to donate a replica to the area. So once you check out the cabin, right back behind it is this little waterfall with a bridge over it. And Amanda said there's something cool up top, so I still have to go up there, but let's go see what it is. And she was right. There's this like lily pond up here. We just got back from our day over at the state park and some hiking, and now I'm gonna make dinner. But on the menu is breakfast. I'm finishing up our little, what we're gonna call an egg scramble with all sorts of vegetables. I'm from the Southwest, and that means you add salsa to your eggs. It's always a go-to. Just a little bit. There you go. That's going to be the finishing touch for breakfast for dinner. How did I do? It's delicious. I've just really been using all those vegetables that we bought in the beginning of the trip and like putting them in every dish, which has been really good. <sighs> well, dinner was delicious, but we are going to have a chill evening and just kind of rest up, get things organized because we have a long drive day tomorrow headed home. And that means things need to be in order, ready, ready for the drive. That's going to be it for Mississippi. We're going to add our sticker. Ooh, I like this blue. There we go. Oh, wow. So be sure to hit subscribe to find out where in the world Carmen goes next.